Hey guys, it's uh, Real Low Bermuda back for another video update. It is uh, 5, 5, uh, 5 p.m. on July 31st. Uh, right now it's 102 degrees here in Central Texas, so it's really hot. And um, three days ago I laid down my BioStim pack from uh, Next and also threw down some green effect for uh, the uh, basically some good summer green and I wanted to show you the results of that. I also wanted to show you the health of the lawn uh, with the height of cut at three quarters of an inch. You know so many times I hear uh, that you got to mow your yard high. Uh, you got to keep it high in the summer otherwise it's going to die. Uh, you got to keep it high otherwise it's going to have weeds. And uh, the irony in that is if you look around at all of the worst yards in all of the neighborhoods they're all mowed high and they all have tons of weeds. And so the height of cut, uh, keeping, keeping your grass high, um, you know, sometimes it could shadow out uh, the growth of a weed, but typically not. Uh, the number one most effective way to keep weeds from being in your yard is to have a nice, thick, lush lawn. And the only way to have that is to keep it low because a high lawn, all your growth and energy is going up right it's not going out so you're not getting a thick lawn and so today what I'm going to show you is at three quarters of an inch 100 degree weather the middle of the summer and I'm still super green I'm weed free mostly and uh, it's just super thick and so uh, let's dig right in and show you the results of the next biostem pack uh, the green effect and overall the uh, health of my lawn in this crazy ridiculous rainless weather okay like I said it's 5 p.m. not the best time to be making a video but the reason why I chose this time is because this is the worst part of the day for heat so your your yard usually shows the most amount of stress at this time of day and so I wanted to show you uh, the health of my lawn and it's currently 102 degrees we have not had no rain like in a month I don't even know when the last time we've had rain uh, but let's walk around the lawn and let's just take a look at the first off the color uh, as you can see uh, the color is amazing nice dark green and then the health uh, let's get down here close and let's just look at the health of this turf if we look close here see just how thick that is like you can't even find the bottom you can't find the ground I mean that is lush and healthy there's no chance for a weed to grow in that environment come around here and my yard is far from perfect right it's got some areas of problems it's got some uh, dog urine burn spots see what I'm looking at hopefully you can see those and of course then I have my areas of common Bermuda that I'm still trying to work out but ultimately I don't have weeds um, and that's without using chemicals like I haven't really used much chemicals at all other than a little bit of sedge hammer uh, to get rid of my nut sedge uh, but everything else has been hand-picked because it's just such a small amount and uh, and then the, the lawn health takes care of the weeds from that point on. Let's also take a quick look at some of my other landscaping and the health. We can not get a, a washout from the sun here. But yeah, just overall, without any rain, just proper irrigation, uh, you can have a healthy lawn. And okay guys, I'm going to give you my main tips for having a healthy lawn no matter what part of the country you're in no matter how hot no matter how dry you can have a healthy lawn uh, so tip number one is proper irrigation right you got to get at least one inch of water down on that lawn every single week one inch isn't a lot right it's a uh, it's simple to do i typically will do a half an inch twice a week and even within those waterings, I'm not putting a half an inch down all in one uh, sitting. I divide it over 
uh, three to four. Um, different waterings uh, usually start at like 4 a.m. Then I have to go off at 5 a.m., then 6 a.m., then 7 a.m. So I'm only watering a few minutes at a time. And I'm making sure that that water is getting down into the soil and not just running off down the street or down uh, into my neighbor's yard, right? So a lot of times when you're not getting any rain, your, your soil can't just soak up a half an inch. Um, and so it'll, you'll get a lot of runoff. And so divide it up into small waterings. But, but yeah, ultimately half an inch twice a week. Number two, you gotta mow frequently. And by frequently, I'm talking like, you cannot have your grass uh, cut more than one third of the blade off. So in my case, my uh, grass is three quarters of an inch, right? So I've gotta mow it pretty frequently because it's gonna grow to about a third in two to three days. Now, if you're mowing higher, you don't have to mow quite as often, but you still have to make sure you take off no, le uh, no more than one third of the grass blade. The more frequent you cut, the less stress it puts on the grass. Uh, also, the more frequently you cut, it never allows weeds to mature. Uh, so again, mowing frequently uh, is key. Uh, a lot of times the brown grass that you see around maybe in your yard or your neighbor's yard, the neighborhood, a lot of times that's because when you mow, you're taking off more than a third. Tip number three, mow low. The lower you mow, the thicker your turf will become. It's plain and simple. A high, uh, a high turf has a hard time thickening up. Now again, you know, there's types of grass that are designed to be grown high. We're not talking about uh, fescue and bluegrass. Uh, I'm talking about Bermuda lawns. And Bermuda lawns is what most uh, people have around here in the, in the Texas area, that or St. Augustine. I'm talking about Bermuda lawns. If you've got Bermuda grass, any variety, the recommendation is a half an inch to one and a half inches, right? If you look at the A&M uh, uh, site that uh, tells us what works best in the state, I mean, they, that's all they do all year is a, a turf management. And the max height that they recommend is one and a half inches. And most uh, people in, uh, in, in this area uh, have been told to mow high and they'll mow three to four inches three to four inches that's more than double the recommended height you got to mow low I recommend um, low go almost as low as your mower will go like last year I used a push a, re a real mower uh, and it was a manual push uh, the old school I mean as a new a new brand worked well but it was just a manual push mower with a reel on it and it went down to an inch, so that's what I mowed at, an inch. And it only cost me 150 bucks. So you don't gotta spend a lot of money uh, on a fancy mower. Anything will get the job done, but you gotta mow frequently, you gotta mow low. So recently I upgraded to a powered reel mower, and that really helped me out. So that leads me to my next tip, is get a reel mower versus a rotary mower. A rotary mower basically rips the grass blade whereas a reel mower cuts the grass blade like a pair of scissors. And so the stress is much less. I mean, you imagine if you went to get a haircut and somebody just took a blade and whacked at your hair as hard as they could, right? You're obviously not gonna get clean cuts. It's like basically chopping a, a, a yard with a machete. Um, and so it puts a lot of stress on the blades. It tears them up, rips them up, and it's hard for them to recover. And so a real mower, whether it costs you a hundred bucks and it's a manual push, or whether it costs thousands of dollars, uh, it's gonna totally transform the health and the look of your turf. So let's take a look at the results of the BioStem pack that I threw down uh, three days ago. You can see on July 27th, uh, a lot of chlorosis, you know, yellowing of the turf, uh, still healthy, uh, just not super dark green. Uh, and then as we uh, scroll down here, you'll be able to see a totally different shade of green, uh, a different level of lawn health. Also, even just a little bit of a, a bluish color, as, which is just a nice, rich green. And so that leads me to my last tip, and that is you have to feed your lawn regularly. You know, throwing some turf builder down three or four times a year 
uh, typically not going to get the job done. Uh, putting down weed and feed a couple times a year, typically not going to get the job done. And so what, what I do is I like to spoon feed the lawn. And what I mean by spoon feeding the lawn is you give it little micro doses of nutrients uh, frequently, you know, once a month at minimum. I like to even do it once every two weeks. And uh, if you kind of think about that in terms of, you know, us as humans, like let's say we need 2,000 calories a day, right? We don't want to eat all 2,000 calories once a day and then not have anything the rest of the day. Well, with our lawn, you know, it needs constant nutrients and we expect to give it nutrients once every three months. That's just not realistic, especially if during that feeding you get a hard rain or anything gets washed away or, um, you know, the heat damages the material you put down. And so by constantly giving it small doses, you are going to be giving it a constant source of food and that lawn is going to thrive because of it. So um, we're not going to talk about specific fertilizers. Uh, we're not going to talk about micronutrients and macronutrients today, although you did see the results of the NEXT, the next uh, biostimulant pack, uh, plus the uh, next green effect. And I even threw down some malorganite, but the reason why I'm not talking about malorganite today is because that's a slow release fertilizer and I just threw it down three days ago. So it's obviously, you're not seeing any kind of instant results from that. So all of the results in the before and after picture here came uh, exclusively from spraying on those five uh, next uh, products, uh, which really didn't have any uh, macronutrients in them. It was all micronutrients and iron. And that's what gave me that thick uh, green up and without getting a lot of growth. In my next video, I'm going to talk about some more benefits that come with mowing low. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of health benefits other than just appearance to using a real mower and mowing low. And so I'm going to talk about some of those uh, in my next video. Uh, but again, hopefully you saw the results from my next BioStem pack and how I was able to get a nice lush green lawn in the mid uh, Texas summer heat. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and it's important. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and also subscribe. When you subscribe, it tells me that there's, out, there's people out there watching that wanna see more videos that I put out. Uh, I'm definitely uh, uh, more than happy to put out uh, anything that I could do to uh, help you have a better lawn uh, when, when you subscribe that lets me know that uh, you you would like more content put out there so that'll really help me out and then be sure you turn on your notifications to where when I do post an update uh, you get notified that that video is there so so come back for more thanks again this is real low Bermuda signing out <laughs>